Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a few methods that I would personally suggest about how to free up additional hard drive or hard disk space on your computer. This is a very frequently requested topic that I'm prompted with. And since this is such a generic topic, I wanted to go over several different methods on what I'd personally do if I was looking to free up hard drive space on my own computer. So we're going to go ahead and not waste any time and just jump right into it. So we're going to go through several methods today and we're going to just kind of do this a little impromptu, but feel free to jump around, do different steps first. You don't have to do each method if you don't want to, you can pick and choose a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and start by something very simple. Most of you guys should have a recycling bin on your desktop. I would suggest actually clearing out your recycling bin. So if you guys ever have files or folders on your computer and you click the delete key on your keyboard, it usually ends up in the recycling bin. And if you don't have your recycling bin set up to automatically delete files every so often, you could have literally gigabytes of wasted space being taken up by the recycling bin. There are caps, generally speaking, on the recycling bin size. But for most people, it's usually far more than you need. And if you have a particularly small hard drive or you're looking to free up some space, it's definitely a good place to look to begin that. So go ahead and open up the recycling bin. I would recommend going through, seeing if there's anything in here that you absolutely need. So you always right click and then restore from the recycling bin. So pretty straightforward. And then once you're ready to delete, I'd suggest right clicking on the recycling bin and then just select empty recycling bin. I don't have anything in there at the moment, but it will prompt you, are you sure you want to delete however many items are in there? So like yes, and that should definitely free up some hard drive space. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in downloads. One of the best managers should come back with a downloads folder, so we're going to go ahead and select that. It should be a downward facing arrow. If you're on Windows 7 or Windows 8, it should be a little bit more clear. It shouldn't have a bunch of different results, it should just say the downloads folder. You can also open up File Explorer and then just left click on Downloads on the left side. So different ways on how to access that. So basically you should have a list of all these downloads in here. All you have to do is just highlight over all of them that you don't want anymore. Right click and then delete. Keep in mind if you've already installed these programs you don't need them on your downloads folder. So sometimes I see installers are 100 megabytes, 50 megabytes, 20 megabytes and if you get 100 of them you know that's a considerable amount of space. So we will have to empty the recycling bin again after all of this, so I guess that probably wasn't the best place to start, but you know what, it doesn't really matter, we're kind of doing this a little impromptu today, so that's just another way you can free up some space, and then you can just right click on the recycling bin and select empty recycling bin. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these four items? We're going to select yes. So there you go, you don't have to delete every download, you can also sort by size, so if you click the little size column here, and you want to keep some of the smaller downloads, it's fine, just keep that in mind. So also, if your downloads folder is somewhere else on your computer, you might have to navigate over to it so if you've changed your default download location. But for most people, it should just be in the general downloads folder on your computer. That can free up a lot of space as well. So just want to put that out there. Another thing you can try, so I actually have CCleaner installed on my computer, but I'm going to go ahead and actually open it up through the internet. We're going to go through the download and installation process because I feel CCleaner is a really good utility about cleaning unnecessary files from your computer and we're just going to kind of incorporate that into today's tutorial. So I'd suggest opening up a web browser if you don't already have CCleaner installed on your computer. And honestly, if you're coming on this tutorial, you probably don't. So we're just going to navigate over to google.com. And into the Google search, you want to type in CCleaner. So two C's, so C-C-L-E-A-N-E-R. Hit enter on your keyboard. When the best matches should come back with clean up and speed up your slow PC, ccleaner.com should be the domain, so we're going to go ahead and just left click on that. Select the free download button. Do not select Get CCleaner Pro. You want to just get the free version, which will be more than sufficient for what we're doing today, and that's what I personally use on my own computers. So if that gives it any sort of credibility as well. You can download it through other third-party hosting sites, but I prefer getting it directly through CCleaner. So 
Again, you want to select the free download. Don't select the buy now or a free trial. Don't do that. I know some people will. If you don't want to be so explicit about it, you want to scroll down underneath the free column and then select the download button. It's only about 20 megabytes, so not too big. And once it's done downloading, go ahead and left click on that one time to open it up. If you receive a user account control prompt from CCleaner, make sure Verify Publisher should say Piriform Software. Select Yes. You can uh, close out your web browser as well. Now you have the clean, now you have the CCleaner setup. Personally, I suggest yes, install CCleaner browser. Usually, I would not install anything extra that comes with programs. So that's just my personal opinion. If you want to install the CCleaner browser, you're welcome to, but I just want to uncheck that and then select customize. So, if you plan on using this program so regularly, which I actually do on my personal computer, I'm going to add both a desktop and store menu shortcut. I generally choose not to enable a run CCleaner option in the recycling bin or add an open CCleaner option to the recycling bin, so I usually uncheck those two. And I will keep enable intelligent cookie scan on. Select install. So once it's done, it shouldn't take very long to install, it should automatically open up. So we're going to go ahead and select custom scan on the left side here. There's quite a lot that CCleaner will go ahead and scan here, so anywhere from the internet cache, history, cookies on your computer, all the way to Windows Explorer, thumbnail cache, and system files as well. You go underneath the applications folder, like the programs like Windows Store, Google Chrome, Firefox, it'll detect other browsers if they're installed on your computer as well. So pretty neat feature there. You can also select the options tab and then select exclude if you want to exclude certain folders from being scanned with CCleaner. And if you saw cookies up here, if you have websites that perhaps you save your login credentials, like Google, for example, if you don't want CCleaner to make you have to re-sign back into Google every time you run CCleaner, or if you just basically wanted to make sure it protects your save my password every time I log in kind of setup, just left click on it and then move it to the right side by clicking this little arrow. So I would suggest going in here before you actually run the scan because this does do a pretty good clean of your computer. So what we're going to do first is select Analyze. Usually on my personal computer I just run cleaner, I don't even think about it, but I want to show you guys how much space we're going to be able to clean up here. And just in this simple scan, we're going to be able to free up about 100 megabytes worth of space. If you've never run CCleaner, I would imagine you might have anywhere from 500 megabytes to a gigabyte or several gigabytes. I mean, I've even seen 100 gigabytes, to be completely honest with you guys. So just keep that in mind, especially if you haven't done this before. It could be a really high amount here. Remember, megabytes are smaller than gigabytes. So if you have, a, so if you have 20 gigabytes, that's definitely a lot more than 98 megabytes. So once you're happy with what it's going to show you here and how much space it's going to clean up, we're going to select Run Cleaner. Selected files will be deleted from your PC. Do you wish to continue? Select Continue. Shouldn't take very long. Again, if it's your first time, it definitely would take a little bit longer than if you just ran it five minutes ago. So it's usually a good rule of thumb. It's moving pretty quick in my scenario, and I only had 100 megabytes. So once you're done, close out of here. Another thing I'd suggest would be to open up the Start menu. Type in Disk Cleanup. Best match to go back with Disk Cleanup. Go ahead and left click on that. So now you want to select clean up system files.
Okay, so I would personally suggest checkmarking inside the Windows Update Cache option as, as well as the Windows Upgrade Log Files. Just by doing those two alone, we're going to free up about 650 megabytes. So go ahead and select OK. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these files? Select Delete Files. Please know that the Windows Update Cache it just stores extra copies of the Windows updates. It's not as if your computer is deleting Windows updates by doing this. It's just unnecessary space in my opinion that once the update is done it just has this extra update cache that's still on your computer. Generally speaking it should automatically clean it after a while but if we're looking to free up space in the here and now it's definitely a good option to go about doing that. Okay, so once that's done, I would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully that should have been able to help you guys out. On my computer, I wouldn't even think that I had that many junk files on it, but, I mean, you guys saw we've cleared up almost 2 gigabytes worth of space without even really trying, and I would almost guarantee if you use your computer on a somewhat regular basis, and you've had it for more than a couple weeks, you're probably going to have more than that. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do about I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.